Good morning, everybody. Today is going to be a quick little update. I haven't shared with you guys our house pad, mainly because I haven't been all that pleased with it. And I just wasn't really excited to talk about it because I wasn't thinking that it was at the finished product. And if it was a finished product, I wasn't really all that happy with it. But I am happy with it now. So first, let me show you our house pad and then I'm gonna give you some tips of what we have learned in going through a contractor. So our house is gonna be a 16 by 48. And so what this house pad is gonna be is it is 18 by 50. So what it has is one foot around the entire house. So what they're gonna be able to do is come nicely in put the house down and level it. It should be pretty level, it's pretty good. It, he did grade it in the middle, so it kind of grades a little bit each side, which I think is pretty decent. I think you want that, because you don't want pooling in the water at all. Most likely, it's gonna be just a little bit higher in the centers, but all four corners are level. So what this is made out of, it is about probably three inches of fill dirt that brings it up uh, from the, the soil. Then what well, we have about four inches of crushed white rock. I don't think it's limestone. I think it's just called crushed rock and it's white. It's a little dirty in spots, but that's just because we haven't, it hasn't rained and our entire homestead is a dust pit. I hate that. I really am not liking all the dirt and dust. I learned about that in another video talking about land clearing. <laughs> But for this house pad, so Travis from Farm and Yard, he is our dealer. So I mean like the first thing I'm seeing is it's, it's, it's got some rollingness to it, which at the end of the day is not, it's not the end of the world, okay. but it, honestly it just looks like dirt. He said, hey, don't use river rock. That could just be, I, I thought, okay, I'll just tell my person not to use river rock. Well, what my contractor calls river rock it is kind of river rock, uh, but it's it's also a mixture of stuff. So we probably could have gotten this a little bit better and cheaper, but basically river rock is what our road base is made out of. Uh, so it's, there's a lot of little stuff and some hard rocks, and it's also mixed with a lot of things in there. But what Travis didn't want was these smooth type of rocks. These smooth rocks, oh, and these big guys, to like all oh, these big guys right here. He said it gets stuck in the tractor, uh, not the tractor, the whatever it is to move the house in. It's hard to get the house in here with the thing, the machine that they move it in here with because the machine's tracks get stuck in that type of rock. I told him no river rock. And so he said, okay, I'll just do a caliche type of clay. It really is just a strong fill dirt. And so, that was a communication issue between us is I did not, um, I tried to be the middleman and I messed up and I didn't communicate very well. I didn't make sure that everybody knew because if we would have gotten the road base, it would have been fine. It really would have been, it's super hard. It would have been a very good base for our house pad. But now we have this awesome crushed rock which is even better. What I needed to do, and this is where I want to give you tips with uh, who you get your, your shed to house from, definitely make sure that uh, first check out the two of our sponsors, uh, either Farm and Yard or Rebel Outdoor Products. Go to them first because the reason why they are our sponsors in our shed to house Facebook group is because they are the best. They have the absolute best customer service. I vetted, Kelly and I vetted them so much, asked so many questions to see if they were a right fit for you guys. So go to either one of them. Uh, for us here in Texas, uh, it is, it's of course, farm and yard. Travis, I said, hey man, I'm really not all that sure if this is what we need. Can you come out and, and look at it? And he said, absolutely, I'm coming down tomorrow. At the end of the day, if, if if you're tapped out on your budget and this is what you got to work with, we can make it work. And that was so cool. So he came in and he said, yeah, Bo, you know, it's not exactly what we want. Uh, let me see if I can get that guy on the phone. So 
I actually called him and Travis just said, hey, give me the phone. So, um, if you can grade this out, let's get at least three inches of gravel in here. And uh, if you want to bring your roller back out, roll that down and uh, put at least three inches of that, that one inch limestone rock on top of that. He did a great job with that because I did not want to be the middleman. They, they found out exactly what we needed. Contractor was not, you know, confused anymore. He, was, he knew exactly. And in the end, it did cost us a little bit more, but not a lot. I was really afraid that we were going to have to redo the whole thing. Now we even have a better ending product than we would have for a little bit cheaper. So that's good. I'm happy with that because we need a good strong foundation, not as strong as concrete. That would have been of course better, but with us having no idea how long we want to homestead, we, this is an adventure for us. You never know, you never know. And we wanna be able to have an exit strategy as much as possible and putting down a concrete foundation that might not be the best exit strategy and it's so much more expensive. So that is why we're doing this killer house pad for our shed to house. Then what if, you can start seeing it, it's really cool. So you can start seeing is over here. So we're coming out onto this deck underneath our beautiful oak tree is gonna be our probably a 12 by 48 deck and then we'll have a screened in porch right over here that we can just sit and just watch the kids climb on the tree. And then on the back side of the house, we're gonna have a smaller type of uh, back porch. It probably, ooh, shoot. I just realized that our water line is right there. Um, alrighty. So we have water line right there and I need to um, I need to figure out how I'm gonna do a deck right over that. I'm learning all of these things. So yeah, so there's the end of our water. If I need to move that out a little bit, I could. It's not, it wouldn't be that bad of a deal. It's PEX and I can, I can move the shutoff valve a little bit if I needed to get from out from underneath the deck. Maybe what the deck will be is it won't actually, it'll come right here on the edge. That's what we'll do. So it'll come right at the edge of this so this back deck will come right at the edge of our uh, main inline valve right here. And then we'll run it the full length of that. It'll probably be like a six foot little porch. And then I think on the back side, somewhere over here is going to be where we're going to build out a little laundry room space for doing clothes for our 5,700 children. I'm just kidding. We just have four kids, but I love them all. I need to get back home to them today. Oh my gosh, there actually is stuff in here. Holy cow, okay, so let me see, okay. Okay, so we're gonna come in here. These guys did, this is gonna be the bedroom. Holy smoly, it's gonna be so small. 